in the last video, you saw the buggy was out on the trails for really the first test and tune, and things went really well. Everything is working phenomenal. All systems are a go. Um, there are a few things that I do have to get dialed in that I really want to get dialed in before this year's Durham Town trip, which is in like two and a half, three weeks. But this year is gonna be wild. We're gonna have Rat Ratherby Welding is gonna be there. He's gonna be bringing some of his new machines. Uh, we might have a couple other creators showing up as well. We have the best group we've ever had. Uh, we've got a big group of guys coming up from South Florida. We've got guys coming in from Texas. We've got guys coming in from Georgia and Tennessee and all over the place. So if you're available and you guys want to come out, check out the buggy and say hi. Uh, the dates for Georgia Off-Road Adventures, again, October 14th through the 17th and almost here at the trails. So uh, I'm going to get this thing unloaded. We'll pick it up when we get there. That shouldn't be showing down there, so I think I did blow some of the charge piping loose. But it also just sounded, it still sounded funny regardless, and my AFR is really high. So I was looking under here and I noticed that uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's not normal. Okay, so I've been telling you guys, I really like these tires. These are the Rally Snakes, and I've been telling you how sticky and soft this rubber is. Well, look at these tires after one tuning session on hard pack. I am taking chunks of my tire off already. I've been saying I blew my charge piping off, and you guys, when you look from this side, you're probably thinking like, what is he talking about? But this silver down here that you see at the base of the turbo, that's not supposed to be that high up. Yeah, look at that. There was like a center material. This thing is cooked. something existed. Loctite is only good for about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, uh, if you ever need to remove Loctite, what you usually do is you hit it with a torch, you put some heat on it, and then crack it loose. So Loctite is not something that can hold up to the temperatures of an exhaust turbo housing. This is called hot lock. And what it is, it's basically like a thread lock that is specifically designed for really high temperature applications. It says that it is up, it is good up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So for the hot side of a turbo, this is something that would be perfect. Later. Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Today is Wednesday, September the 8th. And uh, you can see we're getting a little bit of weather here. Did get this all nicely wrapped. That will help a little bit, even though this is the area over here we really want to stay nice and hot when those exhaust gases are being extracted from the engine. Uh, but having the wrap here will help a little bit as well. So here we are, it's Wednesday. We've got this uh, storm encroaching here on the state. Now I'm on the east coast of the state. We've got some other popular YouTubers that are on the west side of the state probably gonna get hit. I don't know, they may or may not get hit. It originally looked like it was gonna head up towards Tampa. It's not gonna head towards Tampa. Um, it's actually, I've got a lot of friends that are in South Florida, down in the Clearwater area, Northport, Punta Gorda area. Those are the areas that are gonna take the direct shot, and it's only five miles an hour slower than a Category 5. So there's no high winds yet. It's been a little gusty, you know, probably 15 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour gusts just today. Um, so we're not getting it bad yet at all, but it does look like at this point we are gonna be the ones over on my side of the state that will actually take a direct shot from this thing. It's about noon on Wednesday. Um, it'll really be tomorrow that my area is gonna be actually threatened by this storm, but we'll keep an eye on it and I'll try to get you guys some footage of what these things are actually like. Okay, so I'm all done with the tough part. That took me about 45 minutes just to run all of the bolts underneath there into the housing. I almost forgot to cover the most important part of the application, the heat applied after you get your bolts into place. Now, I'm gonna read you guys the instructions. Shake well, 10 seconds, blah, blah, blah. Um, but for quarter inch diameter fasteners, which is what we're close to, uh, apply 250 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes. So with mine being eight millimeter bolts, I'm probably going to want to apply 250 degrees Fahrenheit for five to six minutes. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. But the main reason for doing that was if these lines ever loosen up on the fuel or there's ever any leaks, at least that way will give us some protection. The other thing too, of course, is that's also gonna heat, keep uh, some of that radiation heat just coming off of the engine bay so it will keep the engine cooler. Mainly, it will keep the fuel and the fuel cell cooler.
launch control is just such a cool thing. I've got all this flexibility to be able to retard timing. Oh, by the way, quick storm update. So we've lost power only one time so far, but now it's 6.08 p.m. on Wednesday, the 28th. We've lost power once. It was for maybe 60 seconds. So not long at all. Power came back on. Very thankful for that because we're not even close to this storm hitting my side of the state. We're just getting these outer rain bands. It's really been no intense weather. Just more of the same. Later. Hey, good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning, Thursday. And we knew this storm was gonna start making landfall overnight. One really big problem I'm gonna have is my phone did not charge last night. I don't know why, we just lost power about 30 minutes ago. And I have like 20% battery on my phone. Yeah, go figure. See, we've got some, some flooding out here on my front yard. It's just been raining, pouring all night. It is surprisingly cool out there. The next day. Hey, welcome back. Yes, we lost power, so I'm having to do everything by flashlight until I got my garage open. We've seen a lot of rain, a lot of wind overnight. It's still morning. Lost power about 5.30 in the morning. Haven't had it since. I have to trudge through the swamp out here. You gotta come with me. Big thick cord. See, it's still pretty gross out. Now I heard I've got like a little emergency radio um, because cell towers are down, so we're disconnected from everything. We're gonna drive around just a little bit, a couple of things, see if I can find a working cell tower and also I wanna see what the carnage is like. You can see a little bit of debris. It's like we got a power line hit by a tree over here. I wonder if that's what caused our outage, are those lines there. Look at this guy's front lawn. Jeez. See, that's really the biggest concern for most of us here in Florida is the flooding. Oh, that's you guys. Check this out. Look at that. This stuff's pretty deep. is we'll get some of these rain bands that are on the tail end of this thing. It's the tailwinds that cause the things like the tornadoes to come through. So we've been under a tornado watch. A lot of water. One of my good buddies is, uh, he's right in the middle of having eye surgery and they were supposed to schedule his surgery either like today or tomorrow till he has that surgery and even for a while afterwards he can't lift more than I think two to five pounds or something like that it's really pretty bad so um, he just lost power and they he can't lift his generator so I'm gonna head up and uh, go help him get his generator cranking um, so I'll bring the camera with me and maybe we'll uh, Maybe we'll find some cool areas to take a look at. This guy clearly didn't know to expect that. 
<laughs> that puddle going at a good clip. Like it surprised him and sent him over, flying all over. Man, that road is really flooded out. Yeah, we've got some stuff down. I don't have a chainsaw. Or I'd start chopping away at that thing. There's a tree down there. Oh, look, some other trees down. Normally, that's an on ramp. Wow, look at that. That guy is in the water. A lot of flooding still. That is an on-ramp. At least the guy's got help so I don't have to stop for this guy. In fact, I may run into some flooding on this road. All right guys, day two. Today is Friday. We still don't have power. We still don't have cell phones. We still don't have Wi-Fi. But there are some other areas in and around us that have gotten power and cell service back. So I think we just happen to be in the section that's taking a little bit longer. Um, but we should have power here pretty soon. But everybody you can see still has their generators going um, really nothing super bad like all of our trees are still standing unfortunately and this tree has been leaning ever since hurricane irma we straightened it back out and then it got blown over again by hurricane i think it was michael so we were really hoping that ian would take this as a sacrifice and leave us all alone later welcome back it is still friday it is 4 30 right now we just got our power back on. It's been on for about an hour. It's been kind of like on and off. I've got fans and AC running at this point. We're gonna try to extract as much moisture out of the house as we can because there was water coming in through the slab. Pretty bad. Some of my neighbors unfortunately got it way worse than we did. I think there are parts of the neighborhood that are still out of power. There's still many parts of the state that are out of power, but we finally do have it. There's still a lot of people in my neighborhood that need help and other friends and family around the state that I really need to go help. Um, so I can't do a whole lot of filming. I'm just trying to do everything I can to get at least the people that I have access to situated, you know, help them with any needs and that sort of thing. So. I'm gonna run. I've got some other people that do need some help. If you guys haven't experienced one of these storms before, they're, uh, they're pretty wild. I, I would uh, not recommend it. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon with the dune buggy. She's gonna be back. Now I'm just starting to mess around with my boost duty table and we're gonna start to up that boost. So stick around for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.